Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. Today, I have a story for you guys. Guess who I dreamed last night? Guess who I dreamed last night? They got the whole set up here though. They've got, you guys remember Hope, she slept over. And you guys don't probably remember this girl because she's changed so much in the last few days. <laughs> Sophie. Anyway, there's they got the whole setup. They got their drinks. They got have the phone so they can watch videos, and they have the new like. Guys, set. I'm using a cafe as a stable. Oh, that's and what I, I would do. Totally. Computer. Yeah, because that'd be the most hygienic cafe ever. <laughs> no, it's a stable. Anyway, guess what I dreamed last night. What? Guess I've been waiting and wanting to dream it, and I haven't been Stella? able. To, yeah, it was the first time I dreamed her. Aww. Yeah, and the what trailer is a trailer. <laughs> Because she's got a normal girl brain and you've got a weird girl brain? No, a horse is staying in there. Oh, and it's, it's, it's not a horse trailer? No. Okay, so you both got weird horse girl brains. <laughs> All right, I got it. Well, when you need a stable, you need a stable, right? Yeah. All right, so I'm going to tell you guys what I dreamed. Are you ready for it? Because it's kind of disturbing. So Sam bought me this for Christmas and I love it. It's not the nicest. <laughs> Ooh, it is not the nicest decor for your living room but man i love it before i tell you my dream see how much brighter it makes it seem though before i tell you my dream i oh you guys should know that i ordered a camera and it should be here by friday today is monday so by the end of this week we'll have a new g7x but anyway so this is what i dream it was kind of helpful and kind of good oh gosh hopefully i can say it without crying so we were out and stella i saw stella and she was running and she was obviously sore her legs were sore and she was just running aimlessly broken and oh it's gonna be awful and then i saw her and i said stella stella come here stella it's okay stella it's okay and as soon as she heard my voice she turned around and then she trotted to me she was still broken but she was clearly calm and relaxed like the minute she heard me and knew I was there. She relaxed and was calm, and then she just walked over to me. And she was still broken, but she was peaceful. Wait, is Isn't that crazy? Like, so my guess is that the dream was meant to reassure me that when we got to Stella, because she was thrashing and, and then she heard me screaming and then she really got upset. And then as soon as I calmed down, she visibly calmed down. But I think that the dream was meant to tell me that she knew we were there and that we calmed her. So, But that's not what I want to see. <laughs> I want to see what she that she's okay now, that she's happy now, that she's... That's what I need to see. Okay, so we are headed down to the barn. But before we go, I wanted to tell you guys, I found out something super, super crazy today. And it is that... Our favorite Instagram um, person channel, Instagram page, actually has a YouTube channel now. I just found it out this morning. It's called Horse X Fail. She must have just started it. This is what it looks like so far. Horse Horse X Fails. But it is so, she, her Instagram page is amazing. She only has one video up so far. Yeah, it was posted four hours ago and she has 86 views. So, um, her Instagram page, have, do you follow her, Hope? Uh, yeah, I think I do. Horse X Fails? I think everybody follows her. I think she has way more followers than us on Instagram. Let me just go check. 97.5 thousand followers on Instagram. So, yeah. Yeah, she gets a lot of views. All her whole entire page is based on horse riding fails, and she even featured Gabby in one of them, I think. Just Gabby? Yeah, she featured Gabby. You know what video she featured in Gabby? Gabby in? It's that fall where she tried a horse and the horse took off on her, and she went through the woods and she came out looking like a tree. You guys, I need to post that for you. If I can find it, I'll put it in the coming up video because it was probably the most horrific thing that ever happened to us. But then, looking back now, it's the funniest thing that ever happened to us. But she has a video of that on her Instagram page. But you should follow her on Instagram or just follow her on, on YouTube so that you can be surprised at all the videos that she posts. But anyway, that's what she posts, posts about, our horse riding fails. Horse X fails. It, oh my gosh, so funny. Look at this one. I, I just found a song here. That one just drew my attention because the horse looks like Stella. I made it. 
but we made it. Hi. Hi, Sky, who everybody thinks it can't be caught without a halter on. She seems pretty easy to catch to me. Do you think we can let them out now or not yet? It's pretty icy. We better not. Anyways. Whew, yeah, it's cold. Um, our barn where the boys are is closed down. They're in a stall. Isn't that kind? They put them in a stall because of the weather. Um, they put them in last night. It's freezing rain here. We're in a sheet of of ice. Hendrix is home. Everybody's here. Ooh, and it's cold. So, speaking of Stella, like you guys all thought that I was over her and I moved on so fast. I didn't. So, before they came to take her, I said I wanted like a piece of her mane so that I could remember that her mane was black and white because her tail is only black and everybody knew they were going to take her tail and give me her tail but the thing is I thought when they said that they were going to take her tail that they were going to cut like you know how you're so super careful with your horse's tail I thought they were going to cut the bottom like an underneath piece of her tail off and they they didn't they took her whole tail not her whole tail they just like underneath where the bone is or whatever that material is cartilage I don't know what control what is the bone made of but probably I don't know what a tail is actually made of but anyway so they started cutting off her tail and I was like gagging and when she died I wanted her tail those first few days but Fiona took it to wash it because it wasn't pretty and so she just rinsed it off for me but I wanted it those just those like look at that so sad anyways I was really upset and freaking out and saying like I don't want her to be in heaven without her tail and then Fiona reminded me that her tail was there when she died we only cut it off after so she went to heaven with her tail okay I'll be right there and I wanted a piece of her mane because her mane was black and white I wish I had got a piece of the black and a piece of the white but I wanted to remember that she was black and white and I'm not ready to do anything with this yet but I wanted I wanted it I wanted it not washed because I wanted to remember like it doesn't smell like her We'll figure out what I want to do with that. I don't know yet. I have no idea, but I am going to do something with it. Something for all of us, because like I said before, Stella is all of our horse, and she's always going to be all of our horse, and she's all, all our horse and all of your horse. All right, so what is happening in the day-by-day -day barn? You're going to try and ride Gracie? Yeah, just for a few minutes. All right, because we... Don't want to hurt her. Oh, she's not going to be hurt. She's a young, lively energetic excited horse I'm too big. you're a little tall that's it you're not too big you are very you're thin not too heavy. you're not too heavy and so the only reason that we don't ride her Gabby doesn't ride her is because Gabby's a bit tall and why is that on there did it break no. oh we need to get that off that could hurt her Probably from the tag. yeah um and because when you're too tall it messes with the balance of the horse so it's hard but you're shorter than Gabby how tall are you uh, I don't know you're, I don't check my height. You might be as tall as Gabby. What the heck? How old are you? Uh, 12. And you're older than Gabby? When's your birthday? Um, July 16th. Ooh, you are younger than Gabby. Gabby's always younger than everybody. <laughs> I'm always younger. Yeah, you really are younger than everybody. I'm I know. All right, so let's do it. Let's get ready to take her for a little ride. Have you ever ridden Gracie before? No, but I've ridden Spitfire and Emerald, so I think she's a bit of a mix. Yeah. She's saying, yeah. She's she's not too slow. She's not slow. She's she's fast. Okay, we're shooting. So a lot of the girls at our barn actually have ridden her before. Shayla's ridden her on trails. Lots of riding of this girl. I need to get a shot of this though. Like you guys look the same. You're nosy. <laughs> yeah, you're nosy. Standing there, chilling. Like you guys don't know the miracle that this girl is. Like she, I didn't even know what we were getting when I felt like we needed to bring her home. But <laughs> she's like a baby, like an untrained, beautiful baby that's got some spirit that we haven't even touched into yet. It's okay. It's okay. She, she knows that we have treats sometimes though, and I think that's a good thing. Mom, Did, was gonna go to sleep when we came down last night. Oh yeah, the girls came down to check. Hope was like, let's go check on your ponies. And Sophie's like, why? <laughs> it's closed. The barn is closed. 
See, that's the thing that makes me really connect with her is that she loves, oh, be careful. That was not me. That was you. She loves to be touched. Like she, she does love affection. And a friend messaged me today and said the thing that she notices about this horse is that she is a people person. Like she's not, she's young, but she does love, love people. Wow, there's a knot there. Yeah, you do love people, huh? Yes. She's like directing my hand where to go. Did you hear I dreamed Stella last night? Last night, we let the ponies in, so we let her run in by herself. <gasps> you better not let her run in by herself. Oh, no. She just stood here and stared in. Like, what's happening, guys? Good, because I told her she's not allowed to do that. She, this horse needs handling. She, That's... Was, like, she was standing there like, what's happening? Good. She wasn't being pushy. I find she only gets pushy when um, she... We put a lead rope around her. Walk on. Well, from now on, she needs a halter. One thing that, that we excel at here... And the, one of the reasons that she is here is because she needs to be handled a lot. That's Down that's here? the thing that she yeah. that's the thing that she needs. So we have to like we have to be good about that. And the thing with Stella, like you guys remember how I was always nervous to like be the boss of Stella and stuff. And it was not because I'm not good at being the boss. Because oh man, I'm the boss of my whole world. I'm the boss of everything you see. Um. But it's because she could have been in pain and that was a hard thing for me. Like I can't deal with the whole pain thing. But this horse is young and healthy and strong. And so she's just going to have to listen to us and that is it. And I have no problem doing that. Right? So we don't actually have a really good saddle for her and we don't have a bit. But that will come this year. This year will be about getting all the things we need. Yeah. So we don't put a bit in her. Before we got her she did run off every once in a while I think like she wasn't in love with the bit I don't even know so we 100% need to put dirt in that's gonna be my focus of this next month after Christmas and everything is all over I'm gonna put dirt in here I don't want another winter where we have ice and I figured it out you guys the reason why I don't do anything like all the things I want to do I don't do them because imagine when you do something and then you have to hear from five million people all the things how you did it wrong. So I find for me that I just shut down and I don't don't do it. It's just easier, but I'm about to change that. This is the year of strength. And this is remember, be strong. Don't walk through the mud and stuff if you can. Uh oh. Gracie, I mean Okay, hold on for a sec. Go get her halter. I don't think so, my love. No, she's pinning her ears, and that's not acceptable. The reason she's pinning her ears well, is because her. this horse is chasing her down. A disaster in the making. Yeah, so we're just doing a little tiny, cute, fun rise to see what it's like. Well, guys, trying to lunge, Gracie. Maybe by the time you come back. <laughs> Maybe by the time you come back, we'll have our crap together. We'll have the arena better. <laughs> you guys haven't seen the whole sky yet. Like she, she's not a bad. She's not this bad. The, this horse will make her scared too. So remember, Gracie's our chicken. Gracie and I are twins. This is the year that we're not going to be chickens. So we have them locked in because it's super icy out. Yeah, not the best thing. Our decision to make. And the reason we made it was because it's better to keep our horses from getting hurt than, than letting them take a chance. And that might not be right for everybody, but it's right for us right now, and that's what we're doing. Our horses are still settling in with this new <laughs> horse. What? Should I try her? Yeah, yeah, you can try her. You'll know what it feels like if she starts to run faster. You just pull, sit She'll back and pull. if she, um... If she doesn't like something. <laughs> she acts lame. It's hard for her to go please, around please, the other please, horses, please, that's all, please, because please, they... Please. This is just not the ideal situation. Normally you would have like a nice clean arena, no horses standing there ready to attack her. <laughs> oh, I think you'd be fine with her. I'm getting dizzy. Good girl, Gracie. No, no canter. She is a feisty, 
feisty girl with a canter. Um, I have a new thing I'm going to put here soon, a new bench for us to sit on. We're putting a futon here. I'm excited. So after Christmas is done, I'm going to focus on our, our little farm again. You guys getting it ready. Is she fun? Yeah. Is she forward? She's not being super fast. She's going really nice, like a nice little beginner pony for our granddaughter. Good girl. Good girl. She doesn't have a good saddle, but we will get her one. I just don't know how to do it. <laughs> I need somebody to tell me the size she needs. Yeah, our horses are like, yeah, I'll just stand here. I'll just be calm. <laughs> Remember, this horse was in a field for 14 years. And this is how she is. You found the spot? Her lip was wiggling. Are you wiggling your lip? It's, it's not that cold out. I'm glad to spend time with her, though. Like, she's such an expressive horse. She's really calm, though. I mean, she thinks she's the boss of our little herd. And she's just letting us take control here. I don't know what's changed in me, but Skye has already made me not afraid to stand my ground with her. And I think it's because I don't know her very well and I want to always be safe with her, whereas I knew Stella would never run me down. And even though Skye has been amazing, I am ready to be strong and be like, you need to listen to me. <laughs> she's like, yes. And like, that's it. Those are the rules. And she's been so good though. Like, I don't even understand how good she's been. In the past, I've learned that Horses who feel comfortable and safe and confident are the safest horses. And so I've, so that's my goal with her right now. Fiona's going to come soon and Gabby's going to ride her and she's going to show Gabby what she needs to be ridden. And we're just going to be doing a lot of walking, a lot of walking around outside together and stuff. And um, we're going to just make her comfortable and confident. That's our goal. All right, so you guys know that it's almost January the 1st, and that means that we need to get on the healthy train again. Pumpkin seeds. Do you like them? Yeah. Are they flavored? So we came here for, we came here for a reason. What did we come here to get? What did we come here to get? Sunflower seeds. Sophie's really loving those. Yeah, we're going to get lots of them. Had I seen these before Christmas, my kids would have got these for Christmas. Straws. I love straws. Straws are fun for me. I love them. And then they have the metal ones here. Con, what'd you get? I don't like the metal ones. I think these ones are cool. I wonder how much they are. Sophie's got a whole stash over there. I cannot let this girl alone in the store. I look over and she's got... Sophie, do you even know how much all that's going to cost you? No. $21. <laughs> yep. Very well done. That's what happens when you give your 10 year old a bank card and her own money. She learns how to use it. So I ended up getting six. Two, four, six, six straws. I like them. And I also got this little brush to clean them. We needed some reusable straws. We're back. So Did you miss us? Nope. Well, They're yeah. back. We had the quietest I was night. To Jen and Kaylee's like, hurry up! It's raining. My hair's already wet enough. That's why I have a hat on. Yeah, that's why you're wearing a hat. So the top of your head doesn't get wet. And suddenly life just got crazy again. Me and it's so peaceful. Did you get candy? No, because there is no candy allowed. We went to the bulk barn and she just went off shopping all by herself. And when I went to the checkout, she was there with all her bags and her money. I'm and she just did it all herself. Fun. That I always say that the best way to teach people how to take care of money and have money is to let them have money. That's the best way to learn. All right, let's go. We got the crew back together again. We are gonna go home and we are going to edit I have lots of editing to do I have a video I'm still so trying to get out oh but first we have to go to um Kelly, do you like peppermint where are we going where are we going Gabby Starbucks. Starbucks. Starbucks okay so pretty much I got this bag of Linder ball chocolate for Christmas and yes. I, Gabby and I like, ate it all yeah so now I don't have any more chocolate because she ate all my chocolate so I um, said here do you want some and she said no. Yeah, so I, I didn't want it at the moment, 
but apparently that means never. So, <laughs> um, I got up to get a drink and I sat back down, but I didn't notice I was sitting on chocolate. And then when I stood back up to like change the sheets on my bed because my mom told me to so I could sleep over, I'm like, what is this? And I'm like, and I see the wrappers in chocolate exploded all over my sheets. And I'm like, Gabby? <laughs> and I'm like, and, and then I turned around and I looked at my pants and it looked like I pooed myself. <laughs> my mom even asked me, did you poo your pants? <laughs> I was like, no, Gabby made me sit on chocolate. <laughs> so yeah, that's our chocolate story. I have lots of chocolate at home for you, Kaylee. Gabby is a chocolate fiend. I should have warned you. Gabby is down doing chores. Make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.